Blaster Powers would like to inform the crew that new stock from the latest supply drop is now available. No time to lose, Jim. Go check out the communications relay and report back. Chop, chop. Mr. Payton, this is Dr. Kovac. Can you read me? Loud and clear, Doc. Kinda told you, you can call me Jim. As you like, Mr. Jim. I was hoping you could pay me a visit in my lab, as your circumstances and logistics allow. Oh, and I believe I'm to mention that remuneration is involved. So you have a job for me? I believe I made that abundantly clear. Oh, abundantly. I'll drop by soon, Doc. You looking for something specific? That ought to tone down your recoil quite a bit. Smart purchase, no question. Oh, that's real pretty. Good range, good punch. That's a go-to gun right there. Gail got you rummaging around for scrap, huh? Come back any time, eh? Sprouting up like a beanstalk. He needed something to take his mind off the cold, so I gave him my brother's guitar. And if we're never having taken any lessons, he's damn good. Listen.
Stand by. Remember that 800-page questionnaire we all had to fill out before we came to this planet? How the hell did Kovac pass the personality screening? He must have cheated, right? I mean, have you spoken to the man? head of his, I imagine a little alien inside operating at controls. Or maybe a super intelligent lab rat. Ah! As you are undoubtedly aware, I've been tasked with rendering thermal energy a viable and cost-effective power source. Unfortunately, the tea energy from subterranean sources, while plentiful enough to run the Coronis installation, has a purity level entirely too weak for the audacious experiments we seek to conduct. So, the stuff we drill out of the ground, not pure enough for science. If paraphrasing me is critical to your comprehension, then yes. Now listen, the acrid. There are wild variances in their impurity index. Some are promisingly pure, potentially pure enough for our purposes. <laughs> I need a survey of local acrid, samples of their tea energy, in the hopes that we can find one with a pure enough composition. So you want me to kill acrid, basically? Mm, yes. I'm hoping to take advantage of your noteworthy efficiency as a killing machine. So, let us begin with the Sapaya, those wretched things that so bedeviled our arrival. If you could kill mm, 20 or so and collect their tea energy samples, I should be able to extrapolate a purity index through vertical analysis of the... Kill 28 grid, bring you the spill. That's the gig? All over it. Thanks, Let Doc. Let me update your map with the best place to look for them based on recent sightings and migration patterns. And if you'd kindly hold still, I'd like to equip a sniffer attachment to your suit's tank. It'll automatically gather samples of tea energy particulates in the air after you've made a kill, so you can just focus on the killing. Such pitiable incuriosity. idea how hard it is to keep a hot meal hot around here? Hell, we're still eat before you leave.
up a de-icing spray so your rig doesn't freeze with every bad storm. Commencing anti-icing procedures. The spray ensures your rig won't freeze in place the second you step outside, but its protection is limited to storms rated below Cosmo class. Copy? Anything beyond that? No guarantees. Hey baby, quick message, and um, not to worry you, but apparently I am slipping quietly out of my mind. Today I spent the better part of 20 minutes looking for a hat that I was wearing. <laughs> this week I found my keys in the door on the outside, of course, my slippers in the shower, and my toothbrush in the refrigerator. Because you know how important dental hygiene is to produce. Seriously, what is happening? Unless the little man is telekinetic and evil, moving objects around with his mind just in order to drive me crazy, then your wife has become mentally unbalanced. So, that's good news, right? <laughs> yeah. I got things totally under control. <laughs> I don't know. Kisses. Hey, baby. Quick message, and, um, not to worry you, but apparently... I am slipping quietly out of my mind. Today, I spent the...